So, Marky Ramone is here with us. I'm so excited Hello. that you are here Thank to you. talk Thanks. about your book that's coming up. Yes, yes. So exciting. That's actually here. It's Where can out. we find your book? Amazon, uh, any great bookstore, uh, independent, uh, a chain. Uh, came out a week ago. It's number one on the rock autobiographies on Amazon, which I'm very grateful for. That is amazing. And it's a five-star rating, so... Uh, Punk Rock Blitzkrieg. What made you come up with the name for your book? Well, it was a Punk Rock Blitzkrieg. Uh, Blitzkrieg shows action. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, my whole touring thing with the Ramones, Richard Hell, Wayne County, the beginning of my musical career, my my life story is one big roller coaster ride. So it's really an in-your-face autobiography of my whole life story, and it's uh, very comprehensive. You were in drum playing the drums in the 1970s, uh, professionally? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look amazing. I was in high school though, still a teenager. Wow. And we did two, uh, my first band was called Dust, first, one of the first heavy metal bands in America. And uh, we were still in high school, like I just said, and we uh, decided to form a band and we did two, two uh, albums on a major label. Who taught you how to drum? Well, I, I learned my, I learned basically myself, but watching Ringo on the Ed Sullivan show when the Beatles came oh, how cool. to America, uh, I wanted to be Ringo. So I started banging on things and hit pots and pans, driving my parents crazy. And then I, then I decided as, as a young teenager to just start building a drum set. What is your favorite drum set to play on now? Rogers. Rogers. They don't, they don't make them anymore, but I, I, I had all these endorsements, which I gave up, because they, they just didn't come close to the Rogers sets that I, that I was used to. Right. And especially with the snare drum, the Rogers Dynasonic, which I always used when I recorded with the Ramones. So, uh, and I use the, the pasty cymbals, which to me are the best cymbal company, best sound, and Evans drum heads and Vic Furt sticks. They come in different sizes, inches. Yeah, yes. What's uh, your inch of choice? I use 3A uh, American Classic uh, Vic Furt sticks. Very cool. Two 20 inch crash cymbals, 22 inch ride, 24 inch bass drum, 15 hey. inch mounted <laughs> top, and an 18 inch floor tom. That is so impressive. Now, let's get into more of your book. Yeah. When you're talking about your book, who in the band did you personally feel most connected to? Oh, Didi. Didi Ramon was jovial, funny. You never knew what he was going to say. He was one of the main songwriters. So was Joey. And I considered them the leaders of the group because they wrote the songs. And, but Didi, Didi had a very childlike, uh, vivid imagination. And he was like a child, like a big child. And that's why he always made me laugh. Definitely. And, uh, Humor is the key. Yeah, between the animosities of Joey and Johnny, definitely took that, uh, you know, the thought away from me about why they weren't getting along and just hanging out with Dee Dee and having fun. And that's what bands should understand, that being in a band should be fun. And being brothers, there's always going to be some petty animosities. But uh, that happens in any family, in any business, True. and we were bandmates too. So uh, it was 90% fun and 10% having to deal with uh, all that other crap. Do you think that you were crazier than Dee Dee was, or do you think that Dee Dee was crazier? We were both, <laughs> at the time, Level. both nuts. <laughs> uh, but it never affected the music. I never went on stage right. high or recorded high. Uh, Dee Dee liked drugs, I liked drinking, and... Um, you know, they say opposites attract, so right. maybe that's why we liked each other, you know. <laughs> I know that back and forth it was you as a drummer, and then for a few short period of time there was Tommy as a drummer. Yeah. What was your relationship like with Tommy? Well, Tommy was in a band in the beginning for three and a half years, and he decided it was time. He just wanted to stop and produce. So he produced the first album that I did, which was called Road to Ruin, and the first song I recorded was I Want to Be Sedated. One of my favorites. And uh, I'm glad he was on board because he knew the drum sound and uh, we always respected each other's uh, space, you know. And he suggested to Didi Ramon that I join the band. But there were, uh, there were additions which the management uh, wanted. But uh, they, I, I knew all along that I was going to be in the band. 
So the f three songs that I did with them when at the rehearsal, uh, at the audition, was I Don't Care, Sheena is a Punk Rocker, and Blitzkrieg Bop, and it all worked out after that. Did their deaths inspire you to keep the legacy alive, the Ramon legacy alive? Well, all four guys died on the last length of them and sucked because they didn't enjoy the fruits of their labor. They were too young. And they succumbed to cancer, which is an insidious shit disease. And um, the last one who died from it was Tommy. And after that, you know, it, it really hit me like a, like a ton of bricks. But even, even before that, I, I just knew that the songs were too good not to be played. Right. So that's my aim, and that's what I'm going to do as long as I can do it, because it's fun. And there's a whole new young generation that loves these songs. What do you think was the hardest thing for you to write about in your book? Well, my uh, drinking problem, which I was a periodic drinker, eventually uh, it started to get to me, and it was time... To, to, to get out because Joey told me it was time to get help and I definitely agreed best phone call I ever got because if I didn't get that call I might not have been sober today I might have ended up killing somebody or killing myself or both which alcohol can do uh, so uh, I took the, the, the right path to follow my dreams and realize that there are obstacles and you have to overcome them uh, which I did going to uh, two rehabs and eventually learning that, uh, you know, what was more important and the, the, the right road was to follow the dream. Definitely. I mean, it's given you great success and yeah. a great career and you're still touring the world yeah. and you have your own serious radio station. Channel 41 on Faction at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> Uh, on Wednesday and Saturday. I love it. Here's an intricate question, just out okay. of curiosity. Okay. Have you ever met a little person before? Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, little little people, fans of the Ramones, and I, uh, I always I would see couples and uh, any groupies. Uh, uh, fans, you know. I, I'm embarrassing my boyfriend right no, now. No, just uh, fans, and uh, uh, there was there was a very well known. Uh, photographer writer in San Francisco who was a, a little person and he, he would always come to the shows. Unfortunately one day at the show he stepped out between two cars onto the highway onto the road and he got hit by a car and, oh my gosh. and, and passed away. I know it sucked. And you it know? happened at one of your concerts? Yeah I don't think the I don't think the the driver saw him. Oh my goodness. Yeah so uh I wish I could find out his name, you know? Let's get to some fun stuff. How did you feel when you were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, we were all flattered because uh, we were going to be amongst our peers that we liked growing up as kids, uh, like the Beatles. Ringo Jim, Starr. Jim, mm -hmm. Ringo Starr, Jimi Hendrix, The Who, The Kinks, uh, The Rolling Stones, uh, the Little Richard, Chuck Berry, oh, wow, yeah. uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis Presley, and then uh, the British Invasion, you know, got guys like the Motown sound. What was the most satisfying, gratifying, beautiful moments in your life? Being on The Simpsons. <laughs> uh, in one of the episodes, uh, being Marky Ramon. You know you've made it when you've been on The Simpsons. When you're a cartoon, you know you made it. <laughs> Tell us your book and where we can find it again. It's called uh, A Punk Rock Blitzkrieg. My Life as a Ramon, Marky Ramon. You can get it on Amazon. Go to MarkyRamon.com and you can get it in any bookstore. So uh, it's on Simon & Schuster Touchstone. So uh, it's the most comprehensive Ramon's book so far that's been out there, written by a Ramon. Awesome. Thank you so very Thank much. You. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.